Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Notebook LM by Google. It's a new personalized research assistant has been created by Google and we are going to see how we can leverage this in our day-to-day -day tasks. You can you know, probably use this as uh, your own personal rag retrieval augmented generation solutions or an agent you know you can upload n number of documents you can link you know different urls so and so forth and you can retrieve information you can extract information you know through a conversational interface very similar to you know what perplexity also does there are a lot of research assistant out there you know there are uh, stand alone products like perplexity and there are others as well and there are some uh api services as well for example tavili that you can use to you know get some uh, real-time information or that can be used for information discovery so this is a new innovation by google and they want to also build a lot of products you know to compete with different players uh, in the gen ai ecosystem so let's have a look at notebook lm if you can look at here on my screen it says it's in experiment phase right now so that it's not fully launched okay they are like experimenting with uh, the early users and it says, is your personalized AI research assistant powered by Google's most capable model, Gemini 1.5 Pro? Okay. And you can you know, just come here, you know, scroll down and you can find out some uh, thing over here. You know, there's some codes, people are using it. Uh, you are in control, blah, blah, blah. It says your personal data is not used to train notebook LM. So any private or PII information that you have, you have in your sources will stay private unless you choose to share your sources with collaborators. Everybody says that by the way. Okay, so not that convincing on that statement. Let's go into try notebook LM. When I go into it and uh, this is how it looks like. And if you look at this, I'm going to cre create a new notebook. Okay, and once you come here, this UI looks very familiar to a very famous product by Google again that's called Teachable Machine. So I don't know if you guys, if you guys are new in the AI space, probably you don't know about Teachable Machine. Teachable Machine is a no code AI platform from Google that used to, you know, that is still used to help, uh, you know, train image classifier, posture recognitions, audio classifications, so on and so forth, right? So when it was launched years back, when I was like, you know, when I was in my college days, I used to really use this and you know if you look at this if you click on this here okay this ui looks very familiar and google has a tradition to you know create these kind of user interfaces and also they follow a very unique user experiences which is very uh, you know neat and clean so if you look at here on notebook lm go back okay this is how it's this is how similar it is right now when you come here there are a few things okay so your data source so you can have your data sitting in drive recently chat gpt has the connectivity with drive and uh, you know onedrive you know, they also have it over here and then you can have your own pdf that you can that you have it locally you can store it over here and then you have text files so you can bring it text file as well not only pdf and then if you have some website content you can pass an url and do that so let's try it out something here okay so let me just first just first remove that you can see select all sources in the left hand side you have sources you have add note let me just give it a name and i'm going to call it you know demo and let's just hit enter okay and you have some themes you know this kind of themes dark you know dark light whatever they have a discord server for this you can also have your if you have some queries you can go there and you know you can clarify those now here you have view chat and you know, we're gonna go there in a bit and then you have a notebook guide and they have something that sometimes it might give inaccurate responses because rag is not the solutions guys for information retrieval or discovery you know we have to look beyond those kind of techniques so let's figure this out now zero sources and here you can ask questions your saved notebook will appear here blah 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 and here you can upload so if you go into uh you know if you go into locally you can you can do that as well so I don't know for example if i take this okay let me i have uploaded this you can see in the left hand side it says select all sources you can of course bring multiple documents over here and you can ask questions now if you look at this when i uploaded this document it gives me a summary of this it gives me a gist of that document it says nvidia corporations to 2024 annual report blah 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 and so on and so forth and then it gives you also a suggested questions what kind of questions you can ask you know uh, here Okay, so for example, if I say, how does NVIDIA address the growing demand, you know, for AI and generative AI solutions, and it goes into the document, it gives you, 
uh, sources you can see you can read that uh, document over here you know the PDF and it basically gives you source citations of that okay now let me just cut that out and also give you some next questions prompt suggestions you can call it or the next few questions that you can ask here if I close chat you, know, you can see the chat has been closed if you click on view chat you know it's again there and then keep on asking questions if I say what does NVIDIA identify as the starting and ending points of accelerated computing? If you look at this here, it says accelerated computing starts with the most advanced processors and ends with AI factory. That's what NVIDIA has been saying. You know, you can pin this and you can copy paste, give feedbacks and stuff. Very pretty similar uh, chatbots uh, features. Now, this is how you can upload a PDF and uh, uh, like it can it can help you if you are a non-technical person or if you have if you're working in a sales team marketing team and you get a lot of documents public publicly available documents like annual reports and if you have some kind of audit report so on and so forth which had been published how you can upload it over here and save some time it can help you become more efficient you know, and stuff like that so let me just ask the questions can you uh, help me create a LinkedIn post for the for the report something like this okay and i'm gonna hit enter can you help me create a linkedin post for the report it says the provided text does not contain information about so you get my point right it's drag stupid one by the way when i ask a question can you help me create a linkedin post it has to create it i don't only need the information i want to take actions so that's that's why very it's very that's very important to know that if you are somebody who wants to just retrieve information and does not want to take further actions this tool is for you but if you want to take you know further actions like also you know creating content posting it on linkedin or any social media or creating some kind of documents probably it's not the tool for you this tool is good for you for you if you want to do information discovery or if you want to retrieve some kind of information from a given set of documents now you can see how it failed badly for this and of course it's not built for that that's what they also say now the next is i'm going to click on here add source and you have drive so you can link with your drive i'm not going to link that here and then you have pdfs oh, let me try if i can do that okay i have a bunch of documents over here you know and if i find something but this is how you can do it so you can you can bring up uh, bring up your uh this thing let me click on this i have a file and i'm going to click on insert and you can see now this has been this has been processed by the system and it gives you uh you know summary this is okay i'll just uh i'll just remove this okay and source guide this is fine so let me just do this so when i check when i disable the ch uh this check box here okay so let me what what if i can just remove source from this let me just delete the source now uh I think this it's not auto refresh so it already has created the instance you know it, it basically so if they are using a vector database in the back end that i'm pretty sure they use you know and then what they are doing they are just appending uh, the vectors they are just updating the vectors and that's why the previous vector remains you know they're not oh because i selected both the documents over there now you can let's let's see what happens when i click on faqs So the, the data that I have for this, the document is the uh, it's a media announcement uh, after a, after a team won uh, in English football. You can see it says Manchester United Supporters Club Hyderabad and FAQs. What recent victories MUSC is celebrating? So basically, now you can create questions answers. So if you are a teacher, if you are in academia, if you are working somewhere where you have to create FAQs for websites, you can use this tool. You can upload the data and get it done. But don't upload your data if it's confidential. Don't trust this statement that your data will not be trained. Can Google write it and give it to you in, doc, uh, in writing and can give it to you in an email? They can't do that. So don't upload your really confidential and sensitive data. It's good for publicly available data, guys. Now let me just close this and let me ask the questions okay uh, can you can you tell me the score line can you tell me the score line for the match uh, something like that okay so i'm asking questions now you can see it has previous history it says manchester united won the match against man city with a score of 2-1 this information comes from an article title which this is right so this is the right answer and i'm going to say tell me more about it 
and let's see what it does okay so it will take your previous response and probably give you you know a follow-up response on this it says manchester united and manchester city two giants blah 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 you know in final and it gives you a very uh, good response here now this is how you can you know uh, upload your uh, upload your pdf and get data from drive they also have website okay you can paste a website link let me do that so what i'm going to do here is let me take notebook lm website only and let's see if it can if it can do something here so i just take in the same website that they have for notebook lm and let me ask some questions okay uh what is this website all about so i'm asking this question now okay what is this website all about so it, you can see it says notebook lm is an ai research assistant powered by google blah 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 so it's able to get the information directly from a web url so for example if you want to if we have a lengthy website okay website with too much of content and if you want to find out some information you can again use this okay this tool in free it's free for now it's experimental but it makes sense right you can use it for your personal use as like a, as like a research assistant good for people who are in innovation space who are non-technical whose task is to you know look at market reports and annual reports so on and so forth some startup uh, you know activities reports you can bring it over here and generate a pretty comprehensive uh, uh, you know uh, report out of it in summaries in FAQs guides so on and so forth this is what it is guys you know I'll give this link in description if you haven't tried notebook LM yet feel free to you know share your findings and insights uh, in the comment box if you have any further questions if you like the video please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create create more such videos in your future you can also join our community across social media discord whatsapp uh, linkedin uh, find the link in the channel banner and channel about us that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next one